Hi everyone, so today's tutorial is going to be about the new Speedmasters and uh, it's, it's going to be just the basic of it, how to create a Speedmaster and how to assign a playback to listen to the Speedmaster. It's very very basic, but I'll just show it to you how to make it work. So all you have to do is, um, if you have, let's say, I have a playback that's running a certain uh, effect, let's say a dimmer effect with a certain speed, and I want to create a Speedmaster. So what you have to do is you have to press uh, record and click on any empty playback. Let's say this one. So as soon as you did that, then it will create an empty playback. Then you have to triple click your playback, go to function and then change the cue stack is a Speedmaster from no to any of the Speedmasters you want to assign to. So you have access to 100 Speedmasters uh, and uh, option no, of course. So for example, if in my choice, if, if I want to assign Speedmaster 3 as this playback to be as a Speedmaster 3, then what I need to do is I need to make sure that if I already created the playback and I haven't assigned it to any specific Speedmasters yet, what you need to do is you have to triple click your playback go to the function, uh, go to the advanced, and in advanced you have an option here that says a Speedmaster. So what you do is, at the moment it says it's listening to the Speedmaster 1. So Speedmaster 1 is a default Speedmaster for MagicQ, for all your playbacks, uh, for all your effects, and for all your chases. But what you can do is you can double click here and choose which Speedmaster you wanted to listen to. So you press Speedmaster 3, and now, when you run an effect, so I run this effect, this is running at its own speed that has been set, and then you, you can raise your fader of your um, Speedmaster, and the first time is you tap some initial speed to activate it. So what you do is you tap, let's say, one, two, three, four, and you can see it starts running. And as soon as it starts running, you will be able to actually control it here. Or you can tap it faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So uh, you can actually set the speed here. And then you will be able to control with the fader the overall speed. You will be able to pre uh, press hold so effect will stop. You can press go to continue. If you want to then uh, to release it, you will just select the Speedmaster and you'll press release and that will be released and then it goes to its own speed. So the other option that you can do here as well is so right now if I go into my effects so I can double click on my playback view queue view effects and you can see here um, you will be able to also, when you create uh, an effect, you will be able to also assign it directly when you're creating the speed. So uh, creating uh, um, an effect. So what is this for? So for example, let's say I've selected the lights and I decided to apply, let's say, intensity effect. So you can see intensity effect is running. You can say, for example, um, the width is going to be, let's say, 10%. Uh, the direction of the effect is going to be center out. Okay. But at the same time, and you can increase the speed of it. At the same time, you can add, say, position effect of circle. And then apply also a center out effect. And double click so they will sorry double click blind blind so they will start working together so one thing you can do here as well is when you are creating a, a playback with a multiple effects you actually can assign the each of the effects to the different masters so for example you can assign all your dimmer effects uh, from any fixtures uh, to let's say uh, Speedmaster 2, but your circle effect you could assign for the Speedmaster 3. So that means the position is going to come from Speedmaster 3 
and the, uh, the dimmer is going to come from Speedmaster 2. So what it means is, if I will record that playback now, and I run it, so what you can do is, you can actually control now, as you can see, the position is controllable separately. So the, the speed of the position effect, I'm controlling separately whilst I can create another master here, and that will be uh, Speedmaster, uh, okay, I go to Function, QStack Speedmaster 2, and now, next time, instead of pressing Tap Tap, when you already created it once, you can actually activate it, and then you can slow down your dimmer effect, but your position effect is going to be actually faster. So again, uh, this is the new method of uh, assigning effects and the playbacks to Speedmasters. This is not available anywhere below version 1941. So you have to have this version. Again, that, that is, as you can see, it's very easy. You can also shift release it. And at the same time, you have the other way of, of creating Speedmasters without a fader, but you can actually go into the Execute window, and in the Execute window, you can create, let's say, a 5x5 five five section, and then you can assign special Speedmaster, and for example, for Speedmaster 2, you can assign different options, let's say, for the tap to time, you can assign also... Uh, Speedmaster 2, you can assign for Enable. You can assign separate one on the Speedmaster 2 for uh, Hold. And you can assign, as in the separate tutorial I showed you, a really, really cool function for the Speedmasters called Resync. So you can do this for Speedmasters 2. Then you can do separate for Speedmasters 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. So you have controls of up to 100 Speedmasters. But also, if you are a lucky owner of the stadium consoles with the motorized faders, you actually don't need to waste any of your faders to control to make the speedmasters on them. Because if you then try to change the page, let's say page uh, here, and you have options on your uh, fader functions, it can be playback window, it can be um, intensities, groups, etc., we have also added an option called Speedmasters. So when you do that, you will see your Speedmasters actually controls as set directly on your motorized faders. And they will set in the right mode, and they will set in the right uh, level, and you will be able to control them from here as well. But also, there is another place if you want to if you want to go and find all your Speedmasters. So again, go back, you can go back here. If you open the playback window, you will be able to see there's a new option added here called View Speedmasters. So when you click here, you will be able to see the list of all your 100 Speedmasters here. And you will be able to see whether the um, Speedmaster is active or not active, whether it's running or it's halted, uh, whether um, uh, what was the previous speed, what's the current speed of the BPM, and all the other options. Again, it's a one window where you can see all your 100 uh, uh, Speedmasters in one spreadsheet view. So you can actually go here and you can enable or you can uh, you can actually tap the the um, the BPM speed as well here. So for example, set 64 BPMs here. You will be able to set six, 64 BPMs here, but it also shows you your previous BPM. You can specify is there any particular attribute, or you want to specify to all attribute. So whether you want to filter uh, is there a specific uh, um, attribute uh, for the effects control. So again, you have all the controls in one place where you can actually preview and see which of the effect is running, etc., etc. I hope it was useful. Again, uh, the Speedmasters brought a lot of functionality. I'm not covering all of them. I'm just, uh, I decided to show you bit by bit. So I hope it was useful. And now you know how to use your new Speedmasters. So um, all the best. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, press like, and uh, see you next time. Bye.